Hi, my name is David and I want to welcome you to a short PSS Netomac tutorial presenting the easy to use concept of variance calculation and its evaluation. In PSS Netomac, variance are based on nested loops with an index n from 2 to 10, whereby the outer loops with a higher index call the inner loops with a lower index. Each of them may contain a certain number of parameter changes. The total number of variants results from the product of parameter variations in each looped index. Let us take a slightly modified case study 20 to demonstrate the basic concept of variants in a single machine infinite bus system. You can find the study within the delivered examples. For demonstration purpose, we are going to calculate all combination of variants in the duration of a short circuit. It takes place at the high voltage bus NTHV and the variations are taking action at the time constant T2 and the initial loading of the synchronous machine P0 while the terminal voltage is fixed in each case. First of all, we have to update the calculation settings so that each variant is saved in its own result file and enables a later evaluation. Finishing that, we start with the definition of the variants. Since the definition of the loops has to be commenced from the inner one, we start to define the inner loop with index 2 for the variation of the global variable T2. The global variable P0 will be varied in the loop index 3. For each of the loop index in level 2 and 3, we define three different variable values, so that we will entirely have nine variants. If we now run a dynamics calculation, we will obtain nine result files starting from the base case. Each result file contains the appropriate global variables, which we can look at and use. There are different ways of result analysis. For the simplest one, we create a new diagram page for one graph. We name it speed and add the machine speed signal from the base case. The dynamic title of the graph allows us to add some case specific information regarding our global variables T2 and P0. Finishing that, we can produce such a graph for each variant using the context menu, diagram pages for variants, and creating the pages in a new folder, variants. As an alternative, we can also directly compare signals from different variants in one graph. Therefore, we create a new diagram page, speed comparison, and add again the signal from the base case. Using the context menu, add signals from variant, we can easily insert the signals from the other variants and compare them. Showing the position of all signals allows us to perform the analysis, while the legend contains the appropriate number of the variants. All of the created diagram pages, optionally equipped with more markers and information, can be copied, saved or directly printed. Let me finally show you the possibility of the min-max evaluation. This function analyzes all recorded signals concerning the minima and maxima for each variant and writes the results in the LST file in ASCII format. I hope you've got a basic idea of calculating and evaluating variants in this short PSS Netomac tutorial. In one of the next tutorials, we are going to show you some more sophisticated functions for an interactions with the variants. Stay tuned. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.